what it is y'all this your girl gigs welcome back to the channel this is going to be another edition of gigs plate tonight what i'm making is baked spaghetti um i already have my big pot of water boiling right now aka boiling and um it says regular water i'm gonna put some salt in it in a dash of um vegetable oil as you can see i got a big ass thing of vegetable oil a dash of vegetable oil inside it so the spaghetti won't stick and everything what ingredients you would need is of course some ragu which is spaghetti sauce this here is the meat kind which i also have the traditional kind and since i have just a little bit of the traditional kind left i'm going to go ahead and use the rest of that and mix it with the meat also we have some cut up onions already we have ronzoni spaghetti this is the thin spaghetti you can use whatever size you want some great value fully shredded cheddar cheese and we have some mushrooms now you can get Get some ragu that already has the mushrooms in it or you can do like what I'm doing using the sliced mushrooms through Green Giant or you can just buy some mushrooms from out of the produce produce section of your um, grocery store and um, basically you know cut it up and, and use that now I'm not gonna use hamburger meat or anything I'm gonna use these meatballs through farm rich these are some fully cooked meatballs you can put them in a microwave or you know just you know um do it stove top which i'm gonna do tonight and put it inside of your spaghetti and this here is gonna be uh i hope y'all don't think i'm gonna eat all of this by myself I probably am going to eat all this by myself, but not all the same night. This here is going to actually last me for a whole week. So I'm cooking for the whole week. So it ain't nothing better than leftover spaghetti, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's the bomb. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, salt up my water because it's going to give the spaghetti flavor. It's a way to um, basically um, season your spaghetti while it's burrowing. And I'm also going to add a dash of Earl so the spaghetti won't stick when it does start to burrow, a.k.a. boil. And then I'm going to take the spaghetti and... I've seen some people take like the spaghetti and break the spaghetti in half. I'm just going to put my spaghetti in whole like this. I still have no clue why people break their spaghetti in half. I don't know. Maybe they don't like the slurp whole spaghetti. You know like how you slurp a noodle and stuff. I don't know what the deal is with that. But yeah. So... We're going to go ahead and let the spaghetti spaghetti burl up and get soft and everything. Make sure that it don't stick together and everything. So we're going to let that do its thing. And in this pot right here, I'm going to turn it on. In this pot right here, I'm going to go ahead and put my sauce together. But I have to cook my onions. And also cook my meatballs which are already fully cooked but you know I have to they're frozen right now so I'm gonna put just a splash of Earl at the bottom of the pan like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump my onions in here and let that get all cooked up and everything. I'm going to just let that like sit for a minute and saute and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mushrooms I'm going to drain them and put them inside with the onions then I'm going to put my meatballs in as well and cook them that way so give me a second let me go ahead and drain my mushrooms and we'll come back to the onions and everything Okay, we're back. And 
Our onions are sauteing up right now. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in my green giant sliced mushroom. I'm trying to get every piece of mushroom out of this bitch. Okay, that's it. And mix that up. Let me turn the heat down up a little too high. So we're going to just let that do its thing. And then I'm going to put my, my uh, meatballs in here in a minute. And then season everything. And put my sauce in. Well actually I'm going to put my meatballs in and then put my sauce in. And then I'm going to season everything. But this is sauteing up. My onions are sweating. <laughs> it's always good to um to cut your onions up and stuff like prep. Do like all your prep work and stuff before you start cooking. That's I like to do that. Like before I start cooking, it saves a lot of time. Um, if uh, what I'm trying to say, shit, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, y'all. My mind is gone. Oh, okay, I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Y'all know how I am. If, um, like, you cook a dinner or something, like, I cook this, I'm cooking this now, and you have, like, leftover onion, it's good. You can freeze your onions and stuff and put it in, like, a, um, a sandwich bag for later on when you're going to cook something else. I always prep my onions because I don't like crying that much. So I always prep my onions like beforehand and I hurry up and cut them because you know it basically stops the crying, it stops the tears from coming. Now our noodles are getting soft right about now and it can fit inside the pot. All of them can fit inside the pot now. I'm going to let that continue to burl up until they're soft I'm not gonna cook them fully I'm gonna cook it like semi soft al dente somewhat so it won't be mushy or anything whenever you cook in pasta don't don't overcook it because it's it's like real nasty when it's all like mushy and yeah it's just like nasty basically they don't really I mean it don't really hold flavor that much if you ask me but um uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my meatballs in right now and as you can see it's like at least I'll say it's like at least 20 meatballs I don't really need that many meatballs because of the type of um ragu sauce that I'm using is the meat ragu sauce so it's gonna have meat in it already you know so I've already my sister when she cooked um, spaghetti the last time she already used half of this bag so I'm using the other half so I'm just gonna let this here go ahead and saute up and I'm going to let the noodles get done and then I'm going to um, come back when I'm ready to go ahead and put the sauce in the pot. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and put in our spaghetti sauce, which again, I'm using ragu. You can use uh, whatever type of spaghetti sauce you want. And just go ahead and pour that in. I don't like dry spaghetti, so I always put... A little bit more spaghetti spaghetti sauce than the spaghetti in um in my pasta whenever I'm cooking spaghetti that's just me but it's a lot of people like to just put a little bit of sauce on their noodles but not me so. and I'm just gonna use half of it for right now now um our noodles looks like they're just about done yeah they are done so 
I'm about to drain them. Now, with the spaghetti sauce, you don't have to season your spaghetti sauce because it's already seasoned. But I'm going to season mine. I like to hook my shit up. You feel me? I like flavor. And um, I don't really like too much garlic. So I'm not going to really use any garlic, um, any garlic salt or anything. But I am going to use pepper. Ooh. Okay, that's just good. That's a good enough amount. And then I'm going to use some onion powder. Some onion powder. It, it really don't have no name. This here is like some generic onion, onion powder. And then I'm going to use some Badia. Um, well, this is Goya. Goya Complete Seasoning. I normally use Badia, but use what you have. And this here is Grand Diamond All Purpose Seasoning. This is from a girl cooking with Carolyn here on YouTube. She has her own seasoning company. And I love this seasoning. I like put it on everything as far as meat is concerned. And yeah, it's good. It is real good. So I'm just going to stir that around and let that just burl up now our pasta is done i'm gonna go ahead and drain it i can't do it while holding this here damn camera so i'm gonna drain it and i'll be right back okay our pasta is drained some people like to shock their pasta basically meaning pour cold water over it to stop it from cooking but we're gonna put it in the oven so i'm just gonna put it in a baking pan like so doesn't make any sense to shock it when I'm putting it in a baking pan. Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. Sorry about the darkness, but I gotta get make sure I get all the spaghetti up out of here. Okay, I'm back, y'all. This is gonna be like the easiest spaghetti ever the easiest spaghetti ever take it put it right here and at this time I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven on 350 there you go and as you can see the sauce is simmering up this is where you taste your sauce y'all taste your sauce make sure that the seasoning is right to your liking and everything if it's not add if you have to and I'm gonna go ahead and taste mine mm. just right just right now my mama used to always put these green leaves this is just me just reminiscing these green leaves in the spaghetti sauce and it's called basil leaves or something like that i think it is called basil leaves that shit was nasty as hell i always used to have like nightmares when it's time to eat spaghetti i used to always be scared thinking that i'm gonna eat one of those greens green leaves because she always never used to take it out now most people put um basil leaves in their spaghetti and take them out but my mama never used to take them out i don't know if she had you know memory loss or something but she never used to take it out and it used to you know what i'm saying give me like this badass experience so i knew when i grow up that i would never use no basil leaves and i'm still doing good without it you know what i'm saying i know it gives it flavor but i am doing fine without it so um i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat when it comes to our sauce and i'm gonna take this pan it's hot so I'm going to take the pan and put the sauce over the spaghetti and I'll be right back. I can't do it while holding the camera, but I'll be right back with you guys when I do take the sauce and put it in the on top of the spaghetti. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I went ahead and poured the sauce over the spaghetti and I'm just going to even it out. You don't really have to mix it. If you want to, you can mix it, but you don't really have to mix it. And if you want to, you don't even have to bake it. You can just you know eat it right off the stove just stove top spaghetti if you want and just you know put your noodles in a plate and then get you a, a ladle or a ladder or whatever type of utensils you're using and you know scoop you some sauce on top of the spaghetti and call it a day 
but what I'm going to do is bake my shit. So as you can see, I put the sauce on top of the spaghetti and this is the fun part. The fun part is adding the cheese. Now you can add as little cheese as you want to, as as much cheese as you want to. I'm a cheese bitch. So I'm gonna add me enough of cheese. You feel me? Because I like my cheese to get all all like bubbly and gooey and stuff. So I'm a cheese bitch, I'm sorry. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot of team team cheese bitches out there. Shout out to the team cheese bitches. So yeah, as you can see, that's not that's still not enough for me. It's still not enough. So I'm done with this bag, as you can see. Done with this here bag of shredded cheese. And then I'm gonna get my second bag of shredded cheese it's kind of hard to open with one hand but I'm gonna make it do what it motherfucking do that girl good if y'all wondering just in case if y'all wondering I'm opening this bitch with my mouth with my teeth really so yeah that girl can multitask as you can see Okay, give me a second. I probably really, well, I really can't multitask as much as I thought I could. So give me a second. I'm going to put this phone down for a minute and open this damn bag of cheese. Hold on. Harder than what I thought to open this shit. Give me a minute, y'all. I'm going to war with this bag of cheese. There we go. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Again, where I left off. Team cheese, bitches. Team cheese. Yes. You can see the cheese is already melting because of the sauce is already hot. The reason why I bake it is because it's just so much better. Okay, my my stove just letting me know that it's finished preheating. So it's time to put whatever it is that I'm about to put in there. In there. So let me finish putting my cheese, as much cheese I want, on top of my damn spaghetti. There we go. Okay. So, as you know, I can't hold this and put it inside the oven while holding the phone at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and put my spaghetti in the oven and let it bake for at least 10 minutes because it's already done. I just want my cheese to get all crispy and bubbly. And I'm going to let it stay in there for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put my stove on broil so the top can get, you know, all brown and, you know, gooey and shit. And... Keep it on broil for at least three three to five minutes. I'm going to make sure I keep my eye out on it. And then I'll be right back with you guys when it's done. So be right back. Okay, it's been ten minutes, y'all. I let my spaghetti bake. Now I put it on broil on high. Meaning that I want the top to crisp up. And as you can see, it's getting all bubbly and crisped up and everything. You got to make sure you keep a watch on the spaghetti especially when it's on broil because broil will really crisp it up fast you don't want it to really burn the top but you do want it to get like you know a little crispy on the top so make sure you keep your eye out on it so I'm gonna keep it in for like at least three minutes and I'll be right back guys so this is basically our finished product y'all as you can see the spaghetti is all bubbly and it's crispy around the edges and everything. Um, I just realized I don't even have no garlic bread, y'all. So, you can pair this up with a salad, um, some corn, and, of course, garlic bread. Um, 
But yeah, I, I like to use Parmesan cheese on my spaghetti and everything. And um, yeah, so this is like the easiest way, again, the easiest way to make spaghetti for real you can do it stove top if you want to but it's also good bake y'all trust me it is real good so i'm gonna see if i can plate this real quick to take a picture of it and y'all just watch for the pictures this is your girl gigs bye